Okay, what dates are this? Oh, it's 11-11. Welcome to Messages from Spirit this week, everyone. <sighs> Trying times. <laughs> Trying times. The love always wins. Remember that, you guys. The best networks to be watching right now, do not watch any news, any, I wasn't thinking about spelling it, N-E-W-S, don't watch anything right now. Um, ex- the most honest networks that I know of, O-A-N and Sky, S-K-Y. So Sky News and O-A-N News are really good networks to watch right now. I believe this is this is a time where people are being forced to tell the truth and and coming out of hiding to tell their truth as well. Um, love and in our in our world right now. So, um, you know, I think by early next year, the they're the the news stations are going to actually have to start reporting the truth because we're not going to take the lies anymore. I mean, literally one side is saying what it is saying that the other side is doing exactly what they're doing. They're just totally projecting to deflect. So um, you guys should know that don't just believe anything that you're hearing because um, you're being fooled. <laughs> you're being big time fooled. Um, so yeah. Truths are coming out. Love will win. Okay. Also, yeah, I won't go into that. (laughs) Tarot by Janine is a really great channel to be watching during these times, you guys. I would highly, highly recommend her. J-A-N-I-N-E. And she does videos on um, anything that's going on in the political realm. And um, yeah. Yeah. She, 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 she's been, she, yeah, I, yeah, she's great. She's, she's incredible. And she used to be on one side and so she switched to the other side because she saw the cards were like undeniable. Like she was starting to see the deceit that was going on. So that's when she, it's kind of, it kind of led her to look into deeper truths as to what was, what was really happening. So um, check her out. So um, anyway, Spirit, what do you guys have to say to these guys this week, please? Some, something or somebody's getting the boot. I saw somebody getting a boot. <laughs> um, oh, are you talking about the same subject? Yes. Okay. They're saying that a lot of these people are getting booted out, booted out of office, booted out, just booted out, booted out. Booted out of the running, booted out of the just booted. They're getting the boot. Um, oh, I just saw the word prison. So somebody's in trouble. <laughs> um, so all right, here's the best thing that you could possibly do during these times. Uh, use your tools. Here's your tools. Um do if you've been doing Byron Katie's work, learn, work, learning how to do that, be doing that on a regular basis, almost like every day, stay in a high vibration, be imagining everything going just like you would love to happen, to have happen, put yourself out um, into the future a few years and, and write a letter, like thanking God for this incredible time and what it revealed for you. You can write a list of thank you, God, for my misery. Thank you, God, that this craziness is happening right now because um, here are all the benefits and advantages as to why that's a really good thing that it's happening because that's going to help you to align with the highest timeline possible. And do this in every area of your life. If your work is frustrating you, say, thank you, God, that I feel totally imprisoned by my work. (laughs) Or thank you, God, that I'm treated so disrespectfully at my work or, you know, whatever that is. Um, so just try to see the benefit in everything and try to see, um, as much as, you know, um, some of the other stuff, some of the other stuff is, 
is going on just for the sake of it being revealed. Not that they're going to get away with what, what is, has been going on, but more that, um, more that you, you guys have to take the blinders off and actually see reality for what it is. And it could be a little shocking for some of you, um, but it's, it's, it needs to be seen to be healed. You have to be willing to acknowledge something for it to be healed on a deeper level. So also they're saying have compassion for anybody who irritates you or triggers you or gets you going. Just try to put yourself in their shoes and, um, and really, you know, try, try to see both sides. Don't, don't just, you know, call them crazy or just be upset with them or whatnot. Try to really see it from, from their perspective as best you can and have compassion um, and talk to them with compassion. Um, so, and as part of my job, I am, you know, I, I, I try to let you, if you guys are open, I'll tell you things. <laughs> if you're not open, I respect where you're at and that's it. Plain and simple. I help those who want to be helped. <laughs> okay. And my job is ultimately to support you where you are. So I'm, I'm here for you no matter what you're going through or what you're feeling or what your, you know, what your deal is. So, um, yeah, I need, I have to be unbiased. That's part of, of how to be an unconditionally loving person is I am here to support you anywhere you, that you need, no matter who you are, where you are, what you're doing, what you're about. Um, yeah, that's what I strive to be and do as best I can. I'm a human being with feelings and I go through my own ups and downs and things just like you guys. Um, but when it comes to my job, you know, I try to, I try, try to really uh, walk, walk my talk as best I can. Um, and we should all be trying to do that right now. And whatever you're saying to other people, make sure that you're also doing some self-reflection and be self-aware enough to know that you're actually also talking about yourself. So um, for most of you are um, pretty good at catching yourselves too. Like if something comes out of your mouth and you, you really need to spend some time being more in the moment. And then you're like, oh, I need to spend more time being in the moment. So yeah, just continue your healing, you guys. That's the best you can do continue your healing and we've got some wonderful th things coming up in the future that we can very much look forward to. Um, so put your attention on that, what you want, not that, what you don't want. You've been training for this for years, right? Most of you. Um, I am a law of attraction coach, so I can help you get there. I can help you come up with affirmations and whatnot to help you out. So definitely come to me if you, if you need that additional support right now. Um, I just saw, like, they said, once you let go, well, I think they're talking about romance. Once you let go, it's kind of like, I'm seeing, like, like you've been holding on to the very last, uh, and then it's like, boom, you just, you let go and you surrender. And it's like, whatever is, whatever is meant to be will find its way. So some, some of you just have to let go of trying to, force anything to happen or kind of, um, you know, putting anything on your, on your partner and just kind of like, just take a free fall, take a leap of faith and just be like, okay, let the chips fall where they may. And let's just see what happens naturally from this. And anything that is for you, like I said, will make its way. And anything that is for you will fight for you as well. So, um, you know, Try to be in a state of trust. Try to be in a state of trust and let go so that you're not grasping on anything or have um, these expectations or anything like that. And nobody, you're not expecting someone to come save you necessarily. Um, so, but because that implies a victim mentality. So if, and if we do have our down days where we feel insecure and scared and all that stuff, um, but just remind yourself, I'm not a victim. I'm not about to be a victim and I am going to be my own best friend. So as long as you're coming from that perspective, then, um, then just keep your eyes on your healing and keep your eyes off of your person 
you know, just mind your own business, do your own thing and see what they do. Um, faith. They just said, have faith that everything's going to work out really beautifully. However, that is, however, yeah. However that just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They also, they're also saying like, put your, put your blinders on in a way, like do, do your own unique flavor, do your own unique, unique thing. Um, you know, create, cre- it's, it's, this is a good time to put your attention on being creative it's a good diversion in a way. So if you've been thinking about making a song, writing a story, um, anything like that, definitely do that. Cause it's, it's like putting yourself in a meditative state that could be very, very good for you at this time. Coloring anything, anything that'll take you into this moment and bring you into peace would be recommended. Even baths, they said, um, any kind of relaxation and any kind of joyful activities, getting together with friends and things, going out and doing fun things, going out on little trips and things like that. Um, (laughs) I I feel like some of you are going to actually get some, get rewarded. You're going to get rewarded for your hard work. Yeah. Some of you even awarded. Um, it's going to be different for some of you. Uh, you feel some promotions too coming on. Generosity. Ooh. Generosity, kindness, compassion. Oh, they're saying also the humanity is pulling together to support one another and show, show everyone that you know that you really truly care in whichever way you can just be there for each other and do not, do not fall for the division that the dark side is trying to create. Don't, don't fall for the illusions. You guys stay unified and stay supporting one another. The truths will come out in time as people are able to comprehend some of this. Okay. Um, Jewelry. Have you been thinking about buying some jewelry? Do that. Um, farm. Okay. Uh, oh, farm, farm, farm project successful. So somebody, one of you might be working on a, a farm project. It's going to go great. It's going to go better than expected. They said. Um, somebody is playing guitar and they need to replace the strings on the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny that's what's wrong it's not you it's your guitar it's the strings get new strings <laughs> oh some of you also in relationships with there are like no strings attached like friends with benefits kind of situation some of you um okay some of you might be surprised that your person, that that person you've been doing that with are actually, have actually fallen in love with you and will probably admit it to you. And some of you, it might actually take you cutting them off, um, kind of having your boundaries. Oh, they're saying also some of you who are having, an, having affairs with people who are married, don't do that. <laughs> You don't want to deal with the guilty conscience. You know, you don't, you don't want to, you don't want to, you want to live your life in integrity as best you can. Um, Always make decisions that you don't feel bad about that. You're not going to regret. Um, But in, I I feel like a lot of you are drawing that line. A lot of you are saying, no, I'm not going to be in a position as some kind of hidden mistress anymore. Um, So, and I feel like that goes favorably. Because I feel like that ultimately pushes this whole thing about truths coming out. And like, it feels like, um, you know, either you're living this life or you're living that life. You, It's like we're, we're stopping uh, as a collective, we're stopping living a double life. Pick who you are and then live that life. And let that life that you pick be the most authentic, authentic version of yourself. 
the one that you feel would, would make you truly happy, truly happy and satisfied. And you can rest at night, you know, feeling good about yourself. You, they, they said the best version of yourself. Or, or you can start as a little tiny seed, but it can expand into the best version of yourself. It's not like you walk in like perfect. It's like, what atmosphere do I want to choose? What environment do I want to choose that I could actually grow up into and be my most vibrant self, be the peacock that I am? Some of you need to be more loosey goosey. I feel like some of you are are, cl- are clenching to the steering wheel, like and and they're they're saying like chill a bit, like let let loose more, have a sense of humor, play, like have a good laugh. If you guys are stressed about anything, which I know you are, everyone is. <laughs> There's so much to be stressed about right now, but um, you know it's laugh. Go to bed at night and laugh for at least like, uh, you know, three to five minutes before bed. You can put on some funny cat videos, funny baby videos, funny, like any, anything that would be funny. And I mean, real, real funny. And I'm not talking about like maybe watching a sitcom that sitcom that makes you laugh, but like really bust your gut, watch something really, really funny. And then think about your own circumstances or your own things that are bothering you and laugh about those things too. Um, yeah, just you, or you could just laugh at the fact that you're laughing at nothing, you know, just crack yourself up, just laugh. Laughter is the best possible medicine during these times, you guys, and admitting you're wrong and admitting, you know, it's like, this is not the time to have a chip on your shoulder or have an ego about anything. This is a time to loosen up and have a sense of humor and realize that everybody's imperfect and just seriously have a good laugh at it all and laugh at yourself for taking things too seriously too. laugh at yourself most of all, because when we laugh at ourselves, we destroy our egos. The ego just doesn't have a grip on us anymore. If we have the ability to apologize and we have the ability to laugh at ourselves, those two things in themselves and catching yourself, catching yourself, lying to yourself, catching yourself, just being self-aware, like we were talking about earlier and then like reneging on it and coming back and being like, you know what? <laughs> um, you know, I may feel that way, but, you know, so being being able to like observe yourself and your behavior and your language and all of that stuff, being able to take a good look at it and admit things to yourself and to other people. Those are awesome ego killers. Um, you want to be happy. You don't want to be right. So, and always... Remember that quote that I said recently to, I forget what it was, but it's something to the effect of when we get upset with someone, one really good perspective is let's not blame who we're upset with or who caused the problem or who's the culprit, but rather what is the solution to it? If if one person's needs are not being met, then that is both your problem. Both of you need to come up with a solution um, to solve that issue. You know, you don't leave one person suffering and the other person, um, you know, it's, it's like work, work together as a team to solve your problems and find solutions to whatever the problem is for, for either or both of you. The success of any relationship is, is completely dependent on the ability for both of you to come together and find solutions. And both of you to come together and care about each other's feelings and compromise accordingly. That's how you know you got a good thing is because you both care about each other equally. And you're not just saying, hey, you need to do all the suffering over there. Well, I got it pretty good over here, you know, (laughs) or, you know, you may be doing your own suffering too. I, you know, but just caring about the other person enough to, to want to, um, I mean, this is for you, for those of you who are in union or coming into union, obviously, um, cause those of you who are not talking at all, you, those of you in complete separation aren't going to be here yet. But if you guys are, are talking or communicating in some way, shape or form, it's really important that you guys both just equally care about each other and really, you know, even if you're upset with each other, even if that, 
um, that you guys set your egos aside and say, okay, how do we compromise? How do we make this something that works for us both? Um, they're saying something about a cougar too. Um, oh, okay. All right. So they wanted me to explain something about past lives to you guys too. Um, sometimes, sometimes something, uh, they want me to bring up somebody's past life. I'm sorry if this is you watching this and, and if you didn't want that being shared, I don't see why you wouldn't, but um, <laughs> it's not that big. I mean, it's not like going to identify you or anything like that. But um, so there was this, there was this one past life that I explored with one of my clients. And basically what happened was um, she was a mountain lion and she was going to jump off of a rock and go after some prey down below. And a part of her hesitated for a moment thinking, uh, like her intuition was telling her something was off and she didn't stop. She went ahead and jumped and it like ripped her whole like knuckle and everything off. And she bled to death pretty much. It just got infected and got really bad. And, and she ended up dying from that. Right. So going into the next life or, you know, lives after that, she was always not trusting her intuition or Latin or not even like listening to her intuition and, and, and feeling just very wobbly when it comes to listening to your intuition and it can cause all kinds of things. These past life incidences can cause all kinds of things, but what you can do and what I do often in my sessions is go back and I visit that moment and I take you back through that only we take the moment that something bad happened or, or traumatic or whatever kind of messed you up and we have you, Go through it a different way because there's limitless possibilities on timelines that are possible, parallel re realities and things like that. So what you do is you align with the energy of whatever this other incident is. And so we would go back to that moment and I would ask her, okay, this time it works out. Tell me, tell me how. And I, and I paint the picture to get you there in the moment. Then you fill it out intuitively. And then she was like, well, I sense that feeling that something's off and I look down at my paw to see what's going on. And then I see a crack under that my claw is actually in a crack and then I pull it out and then I, then I jump after the prey. So and then what happens is when you're aligned with that timeline, you get on a different tra trajectory and everything lines up with that now. Now going forward, your, your intuition is much stronger. You got rewarded for doing that. You lived. And you're like, dang, yeah, good, good for me. Like I have the best intuition, you, you know, that cougar would have been all proud of itself. Like, you know, so then all of a sudden you're confident in your intuition and then you use your intuition for everything. And, you know, it's just becomes a whole other different thing. It changes everything. You're going back into your past and changing a moment can actually cause everything in the future to change. So it's really cool how that works. And you can drop your fears completely from that moment on and, and all kinds of wonderful healing can happen. But I think that some of, some of you guys um, are having some of this past life, come, past life stuff come up right now because you're needing to address that that's what's causing what's happening right now for you in your relationship or in your relationship to others. Um. So try to be aware. You can even sit and meditate on it and be like, well, you know, spirit, please show me the past life that where this was got messed up and um, what was the trauma that happened and then go back through it and create a totally different scenario. Start again. It's almost like if you're making a movie, you know how they have the alternate endings. It's exactly like that. So you have one ending that goes this way and you don't, you don't end up liking that one. That kind of messed with you now. So then you go, you, and you create a whole other ending right where the other one would have started. You start here and you create a totally different ending and maybe even another one or another one, you know, you can visit many different past lives and heal all of them if you want to, if you want to do some ultimate healing. So um, try to be conscious of the, the fact that there are past lives and that if they may be very much affecting why you feel triggered and upset about things that are going on right now too. Um, they're also talking about spaceships, like UFOs. Um, okay, they want you to, to be aware that there could be um, like false news about something having to do with UFOs coming. Um, don't, don't believe it a lot about, about, there's a lot of technology that can actually, actually create the illusion of UFOs. You guys should be aware of that technology. 
Um, if, if you hear about some kind of a UFO raid, like aliens raiding thing, like don't even don't do not fall for it. Do not fall for it. We have help from the extraterrestrials that we work with. They are here to, to help us and always listen to your intuition. When you hear any kind of wonky, anything be calm and present enough to be able to discern truth from, you know, just be discerning from truth from lies basically. But just know that there's there's so many um, tactics. There are so many tactics that the dark side is using right now to try to fool people. So anything that is that is trying to cause fear right now, try to put your attention on the opposite. You could even ask yourself, what is this trying to get me to believe? I'm going to believe the opposite. What is this trying to get me to feel? I'm going to feel the opposite. Keep directing your energy toward what it is that you want to feel because whatever it is you're you're cultivating feelings about, that's what you're going to be creating in your world. Whatever you're anticipating happening next, that's what you're going to create in your world. So be anticipating really good things happening and everything working out and everything um, having a really beautiful ending to all of this, <laughs> you know, having a really great conclusion and solution to all of it. Um, anything else? Some of you need to sneak on your tippy toes, and I don't know what that means, but just keep that in mind. Some of you may have to do something very, very sneaky and quiet to, um, to follow your heart. And you'll know what that means. If that's you, that applies to you. You might have to do something very, 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 very sneaky to get out of, yeah, just to get out. I don't, I don't know what that means. It may have something to do with us being contained in our homes, something like that. Or it could have to do with love or it could have to do with, you know, it just feels like some of you need to just be super, 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 super stealth about whatever you're about to do. Um, so keep the hope alive. Have unwavering faith that everything's going to go beautifully, both in your relationship and in life in general. If you need help, always reach out to me if you need me. Um, protection is really important right now. I can't even tell you, oh my gosh, I'm doing like nonstop protecting right now of my own masculine and every, like, I'll be like, this person pops in my mind, protect them. This person pops in my mind, protect them. This one, this one. And I'm just, I'm like exhausted. I'm just like, ah. so you guys be protecting yourselves or I'm going to end up having to protect you. And I'm going to be doing this 24 seven, every second of every day. <laughs> it's like hard to keep up with you guys. So, um, yeah, let's do some protection right now. Let's do some protection. Hamama kin sa se la shi kin se hi po mama ki ten te e se inka. Hai i shin pu mama mama en a e. I like it. There's, they're saying prayers are being answered right now, but you got to pray the prayer. You got to ask God for what you want in God group of deities. Okay. God is everything. It's in everything and it is everything. So, but put it, be putting out your prayers by using those affirmations and by visualizing what it is that you want and everything going wonderfully, but your prayers are being answered and they just said soon. So, um, you know, be anticipating that. Some of you are being controlled by a little devil. Some of you are being controlled by fear. I saw some of you being like a little puppet. Seriously, like I, I just saw like a red hand, a red arm reaching up into some of you going, blah, 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 just having fun with you. So some of you being are, are really being manipulated and fooled. Um, so and I just said misinformation. It's just misinformation. So be really careful about being in any kind of extreme emotion, especially if it's anger or hatred or any negative emotion. You guys got to be on top of that. Do not, if you, if you can help it, don't be in any kind, not sadness, not depression, not anxiety. Try to stay out of any negative emotion right now. And it's, it's, and rise above it somehow, some way. 
ama ama kinsa se eshi kinsa he pa ma ma kina ta e hala sa sen ka che pim ama ma ke ena ela na she kinsa sen sa hapa ma 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 ke na e se Wow. Um, so they also said to the contrary, some of you, uh, some of you um, have the keys to the kingdom of God in your hands. And I saw like a rainbow over, like it looked like the new earth kind of opening up, like the, the gates opening up for you. So some of you may, may be on the verge of enlightenment, or some of you may be... Um, Yeah, just going through a major, major awakening that's going to make you realize who and what you really, truly are. Are there any kinds of anything else you guys want to tell these guys? No, they're, they're just like, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself and look out for, for others. Okay, have yourselves a beautiful day and we'll talk to you next week. Bye. If you like my videos, please like, subscribe, and share them with your friends. Also, feel free to join me at patreon.com forward slash Amy Satori, where I post monthly energy readings, pick a decks, and other goodies for members only, including discounts for readings and being entered to win a free reading at the end of the year. Memberships start as low as $5.55 a month. Sometimes I even put my free collective love readings on Patreon first before uploading them here to YouTube. You can check the description of my videos for the most up-to-date information.